What's going on, MMA fans? I'm back to do my Dream 6 predictions, a continuation of the Middleweight Grand Prix. Wow, solid card top to bottom, one I've definitely been looking forward to for a long time coming. Uh, I talked to Karsten, uh, the MMA analyst, several times about this card, and I can't wait. Uh, I'm going to work my way from the bottom of the main card all the way to the top. Talk about two fights that um, I won't do into depth, but just give you my predictions on them. Um, first fight of the night, Mirko Krokop taking on uh, Alistair Overeem. Mirko Krokop, of course, one of the world's most devastating strikers in MMA. Um, there's a purple belt, I believe, now in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, has fought Tatsuya Mizuno, Czech Congo, Alexander Milianenko, Big Noguera, Kevin Randleman, Fedor Milianenko, Josh Barnett, Vanderlei Silva... Gabriel Gonzaga, the list goes on for him. Taking on Alistair Overeem, primarily better at heavyweight. We've seen that uh, throughout his career. He gasses at 205, usually within later part of the first round after a couple minutes. Talented striker, um, decent ground game. He's a very good grappler. Um, devastating clinch. He's some of the most devastating knees um, out there. Um, he's fought uh, Mark Hunt. Paul Buentello, Shogun Hua, um, Vitor Belfort, Little Noguera, Ricardo Arona, Igor Vochanchin, Fabrizio Verdum, and the list goes on. Uh, I'm going to go with Mirko Krokop. I think he's going to pull off a late second round TKO. I think he's going to be able to impose his will, use good leg kicks, um, chop Overeem down, make Overeem commit, make a mistake, and I think he's going to catch him and finish the fight on the ground. So I'm going to go with Mirko Krokop, late second round TKO. Next fight, Adia Takoro taking on uh, Atsushi Yamamoto. Um, Adia Takoro, uh, very, very talented uh, grappler, good ground game, good hands, um, training out of the uh, reversal combat team. Um, has fought uh, numerous guys in the past. Um, Darren um, Yunayama, um, also Coulter Gill, Hoyler Gracie, Ivan Menjivar, Hoist Gracie, Cal Uno, the list goes on for him. Taking on, like I said, a Sushi Yamamoto. Um, similar styles, both guys, great hands, um, decent grappler, um, a lot of heart, um, very explosive. Um, training out of the Crazy Bee Gym, same as Kid Yamamoto, um, Kid's Gym, um, has fought uh, Tetsu Suzuki and Yoshihiro Maeda in the past. Um, I'm going to go with Hidea Takoro. I think he's going to be able to uh, push the pace just a little bit more than Yamamoto. I think this fight's going to be back and forth. I think Takor is going to do enough to sway the judges, better the combinations, be more explosive, um, try to go for more takedowns, try to go for submission attempts, and I think Takor is going to win this fight. Next fight, uh, wow, definitely looks like on paper fight of the night and possibly a fight of the year candidate, uh, excuse me, fight of the year candidate, <laughs> Melvin Manhoff taking on Jagard Musasi, uh, Melvin Han uh, Manhoff training out of Mike's gym, um, uh, K1 kickboxer, uh, very, very talented kickboxer uh, with a Muay Thai base. Um, of course, the dismantlement of Kazushi Sakuraba in his last fight. Um, has fought Fabio Silva, Cyborg Santos, Ian Freeman, um, Yoshihiro Akiyama, uh, Daiwon Kim, uh, and the list goes on for him. Taking on Jigar Musasi, um, who was a boxer before he transitioned into MMA has really impressed a lot of people and has shown that he's also got some very, very talented grappling skills as well. He's turned into a very good grappler, training out of the Red Devil Sports Club. Um, has fought Don Sik Yoon, Dennis Kang, Cyborg Santos, uh, Hector Lombard, Akihiro Gono, uh, and Makoto Takimoto. Um, this fight's going to be back and forth. I think Musashi's got the cleaner boxing um, skills. I think he's got the cleaner um, grappling skills as well, but I think Manhoff um, poses some problems, some threats to him. Um, and I think this fight's going to be back and forth. Both guys are going to come out, throw some technical strikes, good combination. It's going to be a back and forth fight, but I'm going to go with Shigard Musasi via a decision. I think he's going to be able to pull this fight off. Next fight, um, that was the co-main event. Now the main event, Jacare Souza taking on Zell Galacic. Uh, Jacare Souza, of course, world-class ADCC grappler, um, won the 2005 open weight division. Black Belt Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has been improving on his hands, something that he's just uh, really been focused on since he has uh, joined Extreme Couture. Last two fights, um, Jason Mayhem Miller and Ian Murphy. Taking on Zell Galacic, who has fought um, Taya Kin twice in the past. Um, Don Sikiu, Mark Weir, and Curtis Stout. Um, Zell Galacic, of course, is a, uh, a fourth-degree uh, black belt in uh, Taekwondo. 
Um, he's a decent grappler. He's a very, very, very devastating striker. Um, and, of course, training out of Team Trojan. Um, I think this fight's going to be... Um, it, it's going to follow the lines of Zelg is going to try to avoid to go to the ground with Jacques Array. Uh, he's going to try to sprawl, try to avoid the takedowns. Um, and I think Zelg's going to pick Jacques Array apart on the feet. I think he's going to... Um, hurt Jacques Array. I think he's going to um, make Jacques Array um, uh, uncomfortable um, and not get into his game plan of trying to get Zelg down. And I think Zelg is going to pull off a second round TKO. I think he's going to do a lot of damage in the first round and then cap it off in the second round um, with a TKO. Um, <clears throat> two other fights to mention. Sergei Heratonov is fighting Mighty Mo. I've got Sergei Heratonov winning via decision. Also, Don Sikyun taking on Andrews uh, Naka, Nakahara. Um, I'm going to go with Don Sikyun uh, via submission. Uh, I think he's going to be able to win, uh, get Nakahara down, pull a submission, and win the fight. So those were my predictions for this card. Uh, leave me some comments. Construct the negative positive. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully, I will be back the night, or excuse me, the morning of... <laughs> or the day after to do my review video. And on that note, you guys, have a great day.